Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to dual boot iOS 9 and iOS 6 on the iPhone 4S. iOS 9 is an update that the iPhone 4S never should have got, as it made the phone very unstable and laggy. As we can see, navigating around the UI is very unpleasant, as it's very laggy, UI elements tend to be very slow, and overall, it's not a good experience iOS 6 was the version after the first version for the iPhone 4S, so we're going to be restoring it back to that version as well as dual booting with iOS 9. The tutorial I'm about to show you will require a jailbreak, however the first part of this video will show you actually how to jailbreak the iPhone 4S on iOS 9.3.5 or 9.3.6. So if you're already jailbroken and would like to learn just how to dual boot iOS 5 and iOS 9, there should be a timestamp down in the description that shows you what part of the video actually gets to dual booting. You may be asking yourself, why would I dual boot iOS 6 and iOS 9? Well, many people would like to re-experience the nostalgia that iOS 6 would have on their slow and laggy iPhone 4S. As you may or may not know, Apple does not allow IPSW downgrades below 9.3.5 as that is the latest version that they currently sign. So, some people may just want to have a usable phone again. Although it's a very old firmware, it runs much, much better, significantly better, than iOS 9 does on the 4S. So let's get into jailbreaking the iPhone 4S. For my jailbreak, I'll be using 3U tools. Usually I would use Phoenix and Cydia Impactor, however there is an issue with Apple's identification servers and Impactor. So I'll have to use 3U tools to jailbreak the iPhone 4S. I believe that 3U tools is available for Mac, however if it's not, I'm sure that there's another easy way to jailbreak the iPhone 4S. Once you've downloaded and installed 3U tools, what we're, go we're going to need to connect the iPhone to the computer. So all we need to do is just simply take our iPhone and connect it with its cable. And then open iTunes and make sure that iTunes can detect the phone. You might have to click trust or something like that. However, for me, since I've already trusted this phone, it, sh it automatically does that. Now we can open up 3U tools and give it access to our computer. From here, we'll be brought into 3U tools. What we need to do now is go up to Flash and GB. When we're on this screen, all we need to do is move down to Jailbreak. I was testing things earlier, but generally this will be blank. To jailbreak the iPhone 4S, it's a two-step process. One is running the jailbreak, and two is then installing and opening Phoenix. So all we need to do is go ahead and click Run Jailbreak. From here, it will download everything and make sure that there's a connection with your iPhone device and then make sure that Phoenix is of course running. If your antivirus detects a virus, it is not a virus, it's just an iPhone exploit, just go ahead and bypass it. That is something generally just wrong with the jailbreak. It thinks that it's a virus, but it's not. It's an iPhone exploit. When 3U Tools says that the jailbreak is installed, it will automatically open you to the iPhone 4S's device management screen. From here, it's going to show us this weird C9MH23, it's a weird random string and an email address. What we need to do is tap on that and then click trust. From here we can click trust again, exit out of that, and then open Phoenix. Now we can jailbreak our iPhone. And just as a note, this is all we need the computer for. From here we can just get rid of the computer. Now that Phoenix is installed on our device, we can go ahead and click prepare for jailbreak. We can accept the terms and conditions. If you really want to read these, you can, but there's really nothing that needs to be read here. From here, he's trying just to promote his music, but we can just proceed with free jailbreak instead. Now we can begin the installation of Cydia on our iPhone 4S. If you want to, you can use custom offsets, but let's just use provided offsets for now. In that instance, my phone crashed. However, I restarted it, went through that process again, and now it's installing Cydia. So sometimes iPhones will crash. I mean, it, with something like Cydia, it's kind of inevitable that it'll just randomly restart, um, especially when we're trying to install Cydia. But now at this point, I believe that this is when the iPhone should restart and we should have Cydia on our home screen or at least be one step closer to having Cydia on our home screen. Once our iPhone's restarted, we can swipe and now see that Cydia is on our home screen. Now this is a special jailbreak as not every time when you restart your phone, Cydia will be there. So we have to open Phoenix and make sure that you it says you may launch Cydia from the home screen. If we restarted our phone and then tried to launch Cydia, it would crash. We'd have to reopen Phoenix, click jailbreak, and it would rerun a little bit of script, and then we would have Cydia. 
However, it says we can launch Cydia, so let's go ahead and open Cydia on our freshly jailbroken iPhone 4S. Now that we're successfully inside of Cydia, it's now time to dual boot iOS 9 and iOS 6. If something like this pops up, just go ahead and click return to Cydia. I don't think it's really anything important. If you would like, you can upgrade these essential upgrades, but we're just going to ignore them for now. Now once your phone is jailbroken, we can move over to Sources in Cydia. We can click Edit, and then Add. The URL for this is simply coolbooter.com, so that would be C-O-O-L-B-O-O-T-E-R.com. We can click Add Source. We can click Return to Cydia, and now Coolbooter repo is right there. We can now move over to Search, and then search the package Coolbooter. When Coolbooter is searched, we can click on the one that's simply just Coolbooter from Coolbooter repo. This is the application that we need, so we can click Modify and then Install. Coolbooter will only work on jailbroken 32-bit devices. You need to have a 32-bit device. And that also goes for saying that you can use Coolbooter on something like the iPhone 5 or 5C. You can downgrade to its original firmware, which I believe is iOS 6 and iOS 7. Once our final line of text says installed Coolbooter, we can click return to Cydia. When we click our home button, we'll now see that we have a new app, Coolbooter, with a red icon. This is exactly what we need. This is one of the last steps we need to take to install the older version of iOS on our iPhone. We can open up Coolbooter and then click install. Now we have to select a version of iOS to install. So we can go ahead and select iOS 6.0.1 and then click I'm ready. But before we do that, we can go ahead and click on storage and say, how big do we want our secondary data partition to be? So since this is a 32 gig device, we're gonna give iOS 6 eight gigabytes. When we've selected our partition size and our iOS version, we can click I'm ready. You can select if you'd like to use a custom boot logo. However, I don't since I don't have any images on here. You can also select if you would like verbose boot. Since I think this looks pretty cool and it can tell you if something crashes, I'm going ahead and click yes. Now your phone will download iOS 6.0.1 or in fact any firmware that you selected from Apple. This is a direct download from Apple, so this will take a while depending on your internet speed. Now Coolbooter says please restart your device, so we're just going ahead and click reboot. Once the iPhone is restarted, we can go ahead and swipe to unlock. Now let's open Phoenix once again and then click kickstart jailbreak. As I was saying earlier, we have to do this every time our phone restarts. Once our phone restarted from kickstarting the jailbreak, we can go back and open the Coolbooter application. As we see here, it's crashing. And so kickstarting the jailbreak doesn't work all the time. Sometimes you're going to have to keep trying it and trying it until it eventually decides to let you in. If you find yourself repeatedly kickstarting the jailbreak and for some reason it never works, simply hold the power button and shut your iPhone off that way. Turn it back on and then kickstart the jailbreak. That's what made it work for me. Now I'm turning the phone back on after kickstarting the jailbreak. Now we can go ahead and open Coolbooter and then click boot. Now we have to lock our device and give it a second. And now iOS 6.0.1 is booting in verbose mode. Our final line now is finishing up installation, please wait. Your device will reboot automatically. So now our device should reboot any moment now and then we should be brought to the iOS 6.0.1 loading screen. When our iPhone restarts, we'll be brought back to iOS 9. From here, we of course have to kickstart the jailbreak again, and we can then boot straight into iOS 6.0.1. And we can open Coolbooter and then finally boot iOS 6. Now we have the iOS 6 logo with a little bar at the bottom. I'm assuming that it's trying to load and finalize the installation. Then we should be brought to the screen that says hello with the slide to unlock. This is it. We've now successfully dual booted iOS 6 and iOS 9 on the iPhone 4S. Like I said, we can do this on any 32-bit iOS device as long as you have it jailbroken. There's multiple other ways to jailbreak your phone, not just using 3U Tools or Cydia Impactor. However, this, like I said, this can be done with any iOS device that is 32-bit. And here we are at the iOS 6 home screen. And the good thing about Coolbooter is it automatically jailbreaks iOS 6 for you. So you'll have Cydia on your home screen by default, and it'll automatically allow you to do anything that you would with Cydia. In my opinion, this is very cool. Being able to see iOS 6 run extremely fluently 
on a phone is just really cool to me. On a phone that especially, on a phone that runs especially very poorly with iOS 9. Let me know if you tried this and if you've encountered any problems whatsoever. If you did, I can try to help. And with that being said, make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here or if you enjoyed this video and if I helped you out. I'll see you all in the next one.